Hi everyone. The other day I was updating the firmware on my router. It is a D-Link Deer 2640 that is the AC2600 router. But while doing the firmware upgrade, I had a small power outage. So after the power came back and I restarted the router, it didn't work. I even tried to reset it and I tried almost everything and it didn't work. So in this video, I want to show you how to perform a factory recovery and not a factory reset on your D-Link router. I want to show you especially how to decrypt the firmware that you're going to download from D-Link's website. Because starting 2018, D-Link started to encrypt the bin files. So these are the files that you're going to upload to your router. And because these bin files are encrypted, even with D-Link's recovery utility, they will not work. So they will fail. And I'm going to show you step by step first how to download the bin file from D-Link's support website and then how to download a utility called D-Link Decrypt from GitHub, how you're gonna run it on your Windows PC and then at the end I'm gonna show you how to upload the unencrypted bin file to your D-Link router and how to make it work again. So let's start. Step one is to download the firmware recovery file from D-Link's support site. So go to this website here dlink.com slash support and here put the model of your router in my case it is year 2640 and then select here your router this is my router here and then go to downloads so here always select the latest firmware for your router and in my case it is this one here 1.11b02 so i'm gonna click on download and this is the firmware being downloaded. It's a very small file. So when the firmware here is downloaded, and if you don't know if it is encrypted or not, if it is prior to 2018, chances are that it is not encrypted. So you can now try to upload this firmware to your D-Link router in the way that I'm going to show you later on. But for now, because I know that this firmware is encrypted, I'm going to show you how to decrypt it first. So here you need to search for something called D-Link Decrypt. So here, this is DuckDuckGo, D-Link Decrypt. And usually you're going to find it on the first one. So click on it here. And then here, click on Code. And then click on Download Zip. So now it is being downloaded. We need to unzip it once it is downloaded. I'm going to give it a second. So now let's go to the downloads folder and unzip this one. So here I'm going to go to the downloads folder. So to unzip it, I'm going to right click here and then I'm going to select extract all. And let me here put a smaller path. So this is a very long path. I'm going to remove everything and keep the link only and then click on extract. So now it is extracted. Let me show you. It is here, so it is under D-Link. Now you have the utility to decrypt the bin file. But we didn't finish yet because this utility uses Python. So let's go to install Python now. Open a new tab and then go to python.org. And here you click on downloads. And then here you click on download Python, the latest version. In my case, it is 3.10.4. And this is the Python installer being downloaded. Now that Python installer is downloaded, we need to install it. Click on open file here to install it. And click on customize installation. And this is very important. Let me minimize this window so that you can see better. And here make sure everything is selected and then click on next. And here it is important first to click install for all users and then to select add python to environment variables and then click on install click on yes if prompted and then this is python being installed so now python is installed click on close and then open a command prompt we need to install still two utilities for python so open a command prompt so here you need to install first a utility called crypto. So key in PIP install crypto and hit enter. And this will install the crypto package for Python. 
And the second package we need to install is called PyCryptoDump. So also PIP install PyCryptoDump and hit enter. And this will install the PyCryptoDump. So now after we install these two packages for Python, we need to modify the directory name for these packages so that they can be understood by the script. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Open Explorer and then go to your user. So here in my case, it is C column and then users and then Eloy and then app data. If you don't see app data because it is hidden, simply here, click on view and then hover over show and make sure that hidden items is selected and then open app data, go to roaming and under roaming, go to Python and here open Python 3.10 or whatever the version you installed. Go to site packages and here you need to modify the folder name of crypto here. So click on it to rename it, right click and then let's choose rename. And then simply put the C as capital letter. So this is it. Otherwise it will not work. So now we prepared the Python package and the Python installation and we have the script and we have the bin. We still need to unencrypt the bin file. So let's go to the downloads folder. So CD downloads. And this is where we put the file. So let me put everything in one folder. I'm going to show you here under downloads. So we have the bin and we have here the extracted files. I'm going to copy this here, copy, and then go to dealing here, dealing master. And I'm going to paste it under this folder here. And let me minimize this. So here we need to go to this folder now. So let's go to CD. First, it is D-Link. And then CD, D-Link, just type D-L-I-N and then press tab on your keyboard. And then it will populate the path for you. Click enter. Let's see what is here. So this is here, the script and all the files for the script. And we copied also the bin file as you notice here. So now we need to unencrypt this. And this is the command line that you need to put to unencrypt it. So Python and then dot slash. And then we need to put dlink tech.py. So I'm going to type dlink, press tab. It will populate it automatically. And then minus i for the input. And here, let me copy the name of the file because it's really very long. So I just selected that and press enter on the keyboard. It will be in the clipboard now. So control V, it is here. And now minus O for the output. And then dear 2640.bin. So simply I named the unencrypted file dear 2640.bin and press enter. And you notice that it successfully decrypted the bin file. So now that I have the unencrypted bin file, I can now upload it with the recovery utility of the link. And I'm going to show you how to do this. So let me switch to an external camera to show you how to put your D-Link router in recovery mode. The first thing you need to do is to make sure that the router is turned off. Then you see this is the reset button of this router. So push it in. And while the reset button is pushed in, turn on the router and keep the reset button pushed in until you see the power on LED light in front of the router flashing orange. So here it is flashing orange. So now the router is in recovery mode. We need to connect it now to the PC with a LAN cable. So this is an Ethernet cable. Make sure that the Ethernet cable is connected to one of the LAN ports of the router. Do not put it in the WAN port. Choose any LAN port and then put the other end of the cable in the RJ45 connection of your PC. And now on the PC where you connected the router physically, you need to change the IP address of the PC so that it will fall in the range of the network address of the router. So let me open settings to do this. Here I'm using Windows 11. So click on network and then here under Ethernet, Click on it and then you see IP assignment. You need to edit this and then select manual here and then 
toggle IPv4 to on and then the IP address you should put 192.168.0 you can put from 2 to whatever you want so I'm gonna put dot 5 and the subnet mask should be 255.255.255.0 and that's it now click on save and let's minimize the settings and now on the same PC, go to this address in a web browser, 192.168.0.1. And this is the IP address of the router when it is in recovery mode. And you see, this is the recovery mode of the D-Link router. Now we need to choose the file that we unencrypted. So click on choose file. And it is under downloads, D-Link, D-Link Decrypt Master. And this is the unencrypted file. Just choose it, click on open and then click on upload and the recovery will start while waiting for the recovery let me tell you that this video took a lot of time and research from my part so that to arrive to this method so the decryption and the python and all this stuff so i would appreciate it if you give it a like of course if you like the video and you found it useful and if you subscribe to my channel and also if you comment on this video it will help it with the algorithm of youtube so you can put an emoji or a comment or any question you like and I'll be glad to answer your questions. So now the recovery is finished and you'll get an upgrade successfully message here. Now we need to put back the IP address as DHCP on our PC. So let's go back to settings and here click on edit under IP assignment and then choose DHCP and then click on save. And now if you go to this address, you'll get the splash screen of the D-Link configuration and the router was recovered. So that was it for recovering your D-Link router from a failure or maybe if you installed an open source also firmware on it and you want to revert back to its original firmware, you can follow the steps in my video. I want to thank you all for watching and I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and this will help the channel greatly. And this way you'll not miss any future videos I make. I'm Eloy, until next time.